hello and welcome to Pitch Invasion TV, the show where we talk about real football for real fans. No nonsense, just football. I'm Roman. And I'm Jamie. And today we're going to be talking about this man here, Pep Guardiola. Now Pep faces the monstrous task of managing this lot, Bayern Munich. Or in German, Bayern München. Yep, and <laughs> his predecessor, Jupp Heynckes, led by into what was their most successful season ever, even winning the Champions League. So we're going to take a look at how Pep is going to keep progressing Bayern as a team, what sort of formations he's going to bring in, what players he's going to bring in. We already know he's brought in some players. Um, and then also we're going to have a look at what he did at Barcelona. So, yeah. So Pep at Barcelona, I think, you know, no one can argue with, with how well he did there. I think he was became the best manager in the world at Barcelona. He introduced the passing and moving, the closing yeah. down. Yeah, he, he introduced that. He, you know, his team just attacked as, as one. And I think, you know, even when they lost the ball, they just kind of, they hunted as a pack. Yeah. And it, it was just completely terrifying to play against, I think, at You times. have absolutely no time on the ball at all, do you? No Fair. time whatsoever. But, you know, when he first came into Barcelona, people were a bit sceptic. You know, he came from the Barcelona B team. Uh, he sold Ronaldinho, Deco, Eto. The you know, instrumental players of their team at the that time. The instrumental players of their team at the time. You know, so I mean, and then he brought in all that Spanish young, younger kind of side. You know, he introduced players like Pedro. Yeah. You know, and, and that counter attacking style just kind of blossomed from there. And uh, so it'd be interesting to see if he's going to take exactly the same mold from Barcelona that he had, or if he's going to try something completely new yeah, will that he, no one's it, ever seen before. Will he implement it into the Bayern team? Definitely. I mean, at the moment, we're well into the transfer window at the moment. So I think Bayern have already done their business, to be honest. They've brought in Mario Goetze and Thiago. Now, yeah. Goetze has come from Borussia Dortmund. <sighs> Rival club. Rival club. What a twat. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, I don't think Lewandowski is going to be too happy with that. Um, what do you think about Gertz? Um, I think he's a great player. Yeah. Um, I think whatever team he goes into, he'll fit in straight away. I mean, he's, he's got all the attributes that any great player needs to play for such a big club like Bayern Munich. Also, Thiago played under Pep Guardiola before, so he knows the game that Pep wants to play. Uh, whether Pep will implement that into the Bayern team as well, we don't know yet. Um, but it was interesting about Thiago, though, that... Uh, Pep came out into the media and was like, this is the only player that I want to buy. Only player. Which is surprising because he didn't play him at Barca. No, he, did, he didn't play him as much. But when he did play him, which we'll look at later, is he played him in that centre defensive mid role. Yep. And at the moment, they've got Schweinsteiger there. And we've heard the rumour, rumour, from agent ITK, that... <laughs> <laughs> in the know. Yeah, that um, they're actually willing to listen to offers. For Schweinsteiger. Ooh, and that doesn't it. mean they're going to sell him, but it means that they're willing to listen to they him. They just want to see what, who, who's interested in, in, but, in him. Yeah, but I, I, I just think, I, I can't, I, surely you can put him in any team in the world. You know what I mean? There's going to be a Definitely. way, even if you play, you know, even if you really like Thiago and you want to play Thiago in that centre defensive mid position, there's got to be a place where you can put him in. To be honest, you could always play Thiago in a slightly more attacking role. Yeah, yeah, you could do. I mean, uh, He's a very good player. I mean, what we know about Pep is that he loves to, you know, move positions. He loves to change the game around, like yep. move, constantly moving wingers into strikers, you know, like he did with Messi. Yeah. In interchangeable positions that's interchangeable what positions exactly that you know so I mean let's take a look at how Bayern lined up last season Bayern lined up in a 4-2-3 situation they had of course Neuer in goal they had a back four of Lam, Dante Boateng and Alaba midfield duo of Schweinsteiger and Javi Martinez beasts you're not going to get past beasts. them beasts and then they had Tony Kroos in that centre for forward position, which I absolutely love Tony Kroos. I think he's absolutely fucking awesome. Not the awesome. fastest of players, but absolutely but amazing his, his on the ball. His talent is just incredible. Muller played loads of games last season. I think, again, one of the most underrated players in Europe. Yeah, of course. But his passing's not very good. So I don't know how you know, Pep's going to get on with him with this new side, um, purely because that passing ratio is a massive thing for Pep Guardiola. I mean, he dropped several players 
uh, from Barca just because he didn't think their passing ability was up to the standard of the rest of the team. He obviously likes that pass completion. Yeah. Of course, they had the ugliest player known to man. Ugliest, really? Tevez Lescott? Would you still take Ribery as the ugliest? I think Luke Chadwick has got the, <laughs> the title at the moment. But, of course, Ribery in that left mid position. Strong, quick, so strong. Skillful. I think he's so ugly that people don't want to tackle him because they think his face is already messed up enough. I think that's what happened against Barca when they played them in the probably. Champions League. Danny Alves probably scared of his face. Yeah. Um, Mandzukic up front, again, had a fantastic season. Another underrated player. Oh, completely, completely. When he first moved, I was like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. So let's take a look at how me and you feel Bayern are going to line up next season. Now, we know that Pep has been looking at using a 4-1-4-1 situation. Here we don't have that, we only have 4-5-1, but it basically says what we want it to do. You can see the player that's holding off and also the striker either side of the, yeah. the and midfield. I think some of the interesting points, the big one for me, is that Javi Martinez is moving back to centre-back. He played there for Bilbao a it, yeah, for quite it, a few games. He played there for Bilbao. You know, he, he reads the game superb. He's Spanish, of course. Um, whether or not he plays... Who he plays in that centre defensive mid, we don't really know at the moment. Um, we'll just put Thiago because I think we saw we saw them play against Dortmund the other day, and and Thiago did sit in that holding midfield role, and he was excellent. He was he was superb. Um, the ball over the top that he sends is just stupid. We know in training he's been playing Rubri in a number 10 kind of role behind the striker because he wants him to play he pep said that he saw him play for france there and he completely dominates the game which he does because you know he's he very direct he's, he's a direct, very direct player. can shoot with both feet uh, passing is great it's fantastic he likes robin <laughs> <laughs> he likes robin uh which is surprising because we were talking about how much pep loves a player that can pass and yeah. track back and track back, yeah. And something that Robin knows fuck all about. Oh. Um, plus the fact that... Hasn't got a Scooby. No, and he looks 50, but he's actually 27, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, that's how we think they're going to line up. Um, which, is, of course, is just uh, Neuer at the back. Uh, Javi Martinez at centre-back. Thiago sitting in that centre-defensive mid-situation. Uh, Gertz out on the left... Uh, Ribery inside with Kroos, Robin on the right, and Mandzukic up front. But also what we think is that, you know, these players can constantly move around. But yeah, that is how we see Bayern will line up next season. Whether or not that's what's going to happen, we don't know, obviously. Um, we'll just have to wait until their first game of the season, which I believe is against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, which they smashed in pre-season, which is stupid. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see how Pep gets on. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this has been Pep's Bayern with Pitch Invasion TV. Make sure you leave comments below and let us know how you think. Let uh, us know if you agree or disagree with the team. Yeah. Uh, give us your opinions on what team you think Pep's going to play. Yeah. Um, we're always open to ideas. Um, who's he going to play up front? Is he going to go with that false nine? Or is he going to stick with Mandzukic and keep him up front? Because Mandzukic isn't a very technical player. Not, no, not no. at all. So, I mean, is Schweinsteiger going? Is Schweinsteiger going? You know, there's so many comments that we want to see um, and questions. So just let us know and we'll get back to you in the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.